I wonder what it must feel like to be the person who walks into a room and demands the attention of everyone there. What kind of clothes do they wear and how do they do their hair and how do they walk? We told them they could take up that much space and how do I become that person? I think this person wears the color red. It's an exclamation mark amongst the sea of commas and periods. It's loud and screams, I am here, look at me. Look at me, look at me, look at me. So today I wore red. This is noteworthy because I never wear red. Okay, okay, never is a strong word. Rare. It's rare you'll see me decorated in a color that demands such attention, but today I wore red. Never, <clears throat> rarely, have I noticed the commands of Red's presence in the world until my body was adorned in its fierceness. It felt like I made this grand discovery and it was all I could see. It's like when you listen to a new song for the first time and suddenly it plays at every supermarket, every coffee shop, on the radio, every party, and it feels like you can't escape it. There's a name for this, a theory of sorts called the Bader-Meinhof phenomenon or better known as the frequency illusion. You see our brains are wired to find patterns and this and that, it's a dance between selective attention and cognitive bias that once that song or that thing or that color is noticed we continue to notice it making us believe it appears in higher occurrences when really you're just paying more attention people who wear red pay attention they notice things others don't a person who wears red is self-assured and doesn't mind being looked at stared at even they're the type of people to raise their hands when the magician asks for a volunteer from the audience not only would they raise their hands but they would also be chosen Red demands attention. It does not ask. People who wear red are the same types of people who live in New York City. Everyone here possesses a certain type of confidence and authority. The same type of authority red demands. You can't help but look at everyone. All the different breadths of life who fall under the same patch of grass amongst the concrete and skyscrapers. It's like a performance piece that knows no beginning or no end that one willingly participates in when you step outside. Everyone is looking, yet nobody is looking at the same time. They are all so beautiful. Our greatest gift is to be here in this place with these people during this time. Time is your greatest currency while you're in the city, and I chose a wide chunk of that time at the Museum of Modern Art. Museums are like a metaphor for it all. They are designed to be looked at, analyzed, felt, observed. You don't need to know anything about art except for how it makes you feel. There's a certain pull you experience towards art pieces that demand your attention. It's like the siren call of a mermaid. You don't know where or why you're being lured toward the piece, but it's best not to question the melody only you can hear. This is a painting by a French artist named Henri Matisse, the largest painting I've ever seen. It's simple in its form, but complex in the emotions it evokes. Its song called out to me, extending its arms, inviting me into a cosmic waltz of celebration. Dance is the first language we know how to speak. As children, we instinctively move our bodies where we swirl and wiggle at the sound of a beat. For many, this dies with age. The call never goes away. It demands our attention.